A lot of the time, animals have come to our rescue, and sometimes they've done so by putting their lives at risk. But there are also times in which they're the ones at risk. They're the ones who need help, and it's hard to know it when they can't speak our language. And of course, we can't forget that there are also critical moments in which they'll want to do more for their human friends. Over the years, we've seen tons of animals communicate with humans in unexpected ways. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at 15 animals that ask people for help. Our first entry is Saving the Chicks. After a mysterious package was left at a postal office, the postal workers knew that there was something odd as they heard the sounds of chicks coming from inside the box. And sure enough, the package was full of 16 chicks. They had been sent from Wisconsin to New York and were ready to be returned to the sender. One of the chicks was already dead, but the other 15 still had a chance of survival. Sure enough, the people at the post office decided to put a stop to this nonsense and refused to return the package. Instead, they decided to change the fate of the chicks and save them. Our next entry is Cucumber the Wolf. There was once a man who loved working around animals, including a group of wolves that lived in enclosures. One day, the man felt a pull from one of the enclosures, and when he turned around, he noticed that the one calling him was Cucumber, a tiny wolf that needed help. The man was quite surprised since Cucumber was usually independent. She never really enjoyed interacting with humans, but to this day, things were different, and the man was aware of that. He rushed Cucumber to the vet, and she was put on an operating table where she died, but then she was quickly revived. She got the help she needed just in time by simply grabbing the attention of a caring man. Our next entry is the eyes of the deer. You always need to keep your eyes wide open, and when you make eye contact with someone, you should always pay attention to what their eyes are trying to say. In Fairfax, California, a policeman was approached by a deer. The animal made eye contact with him while he stayed in the car. They both remained like this for a while until the officer finally realized what was wrong. The deer had a broken leg, and that's why the animal kept staring at him. The man then got out of his car and called animal control, getting help for the poor guy. Our next entry is Mama Goose and the Cops. Here's another story that involves the cops. It's the story of a real-life Mama Goose who started to panic when one of her goslings got tangled up in a balloon string. She didn't know what to do, but when she saw the cops, she began to call for their help. She started pecking on the door of their car until they finally got out and were led to where the baby goose was trapped. Our next entry is Tangled in a Rope. A long time ago, Joe Siberis and some of his friends went fishing near Sydney, Australia. It was just an ordinary day until they came across a whale shark that swam up to their boat. The guys didn't think much of it until they noticed that the whale shark wasn't moving. It was as if the fish was waiting for them to do something. That's when Joe went in the water and noticed the shark was tangled in a rope. The shark floated and waited patiently while Joe took care of the problem. Once Joe finished cutting the rope, the whale shark swam away, back to the water. Our next entry is Attacked by a Porcupine. People began to freak out when they saw a wild raven perched on a fence, squawking for more than an hour. But when they got closer to the bird, they realized that there was a good reason for its behavior. The raven had four porcupine quills stuck in him, and three of them were on the side of his face. Fortunately for the noisy bird, a kind woman approached him and removed the quills from his face. More than likely, it hurt a lot, but I bet this bird was very thankful. After all, he kept making noises to get help, so I'm sure he felt some relief in the end. Our next entry is the whale that was trapped. Sounds like animal emergencies are very common over in Sydney, Australia. Here's yet another story of what happened near this city. It all started when two teenagers saw a distressed southern right whale come to the surface. When they got closer to the animal, they realized that it was twisted in a lot of fishing lines while a bunch of plastic garbage was attached to the top of its mouth. The big animal kept bobbing up and down in the water, trying to get the attention of the people near it. Finally, it got close to the teens, who were able to reach out and get rid of the trash that was on the whale's face. Before the whale went back to the water, the big animal slapped its tail several times, which I like to think was its way of saying, thank you. Our next entry is a friend named Lola. There have been times in which animals have been rescued from death by simply being absolutely adorable. When Bruno Barba was 16 years old, he participated in the Future Farmers of America, a program sponsored by his school. This is where he met Lola, a friendly pig. Lola and Bruno became close friends, and Bruno says that the thing he loved the most about her was her playful personality. But just like many other pigs, Lola's fate was to be slaughtered. However, Bruno wasn't ready to allow that, so he instead took her to a farm sanctuary over in Orland, California, and now she gets to live in a safe space while being only six hours away from her best friend. 
This activity triggered Brandon and his mom to change some of their eating habits, and they now encourage people in the Future Farmers program to find sanctuaries for the animals that they help. Seems like Lola not only saved her life, but she gave hers to save the lives of many other pigs by simply being an adorable pig. Our next entry is... An Injured Giraffe. When her mother giraffe found her young calf injured, she didn't rightly know what to do. She was so desperate to get help until she finally made it to a nature reserve over in South Africa, where a group of kind humans decided to follow her and found the source of her worries. They immediately helped the calf and the mom was relieved. Our next entry is the Thirsty Koala. Australia is known for its highest temperatures during the warmer months. A lot of times, the weather is so hot to the point that there are fires all around the country. And when temperatures were this bad, it can have devastating effects not only on humans, but also on animals. On one of those hot days, a koala in Adelaide was literally dying of thirst, so he followed a group of cyclists and begged for water. The lucky koala asked the right people, though. They were more than happy to help him quench his thirst before continuing on their own journey. Our next entry is... The Dolphin in the Fishing Line. We all know that seeing dolphins in the ocean can be pretty exciting, so when some marine photographers were hanging out near Kona, Hawaii, they were very happy to see that a dolphin had come to visit them. However, they immediately realized that there was a reason for the animal's visit. The dolphin was distressed and had already been circling around the photographers until it finally came closer to one of them and showed its left side. The dolphin was entangled in a fishing wire and had been pierced by a metal hook. One of the people in the team cut away the wire and had to dig a bit into the dolphin's flesh. They didn't have time to remove the hook as the dolphin swam away before they could do anything about it. While it didn't get helped completely, at least they did help him to get rid of that painful wire, in a sense. Our next entry is super short, it's called Stuck in a Jar. When a young fox got its head stuck in a glass jar, he had to walk around hoping to be seen by anyone who could help. And sure enough, some men in the neighborhood saw the problem and were happy to remove the jar so the fox could drop back to the forest. Our next entry is Chirping Bird. I guess it's not that hard for birds to ask for help if you think about it. After all, they can make a lot of noise and grab our attention pretty quickly. There once was a bird that suddenly started chirping, without an evident reason. The people around it stopped, and the sound of the bird kept increasing. After taking a closer look, the humans found that the sound was coming from a sparrow that was stuck on a thistle bush. The bird was hanging upside down, and the kind humans were able to offer immediate help. After the incident, the people involved said they felt like heroes, and I'm sure the bird thought the same thing about them as it flew away. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for today shows a very lonely dog, looking helpless and tired. It really does remind me of a story about a dog who left her ill owner to look for help. The dog probably felt lonely and tired, like the one in this picture. But her story teaches us about resistance and loyalty. Let's check it out with... The Dog That Asked For Help Haley Moore was simply walking down the street with her dog Clover, when suddenly Haley had a seizure. Clover immediately ran to her friend's side, desperately trying to find the best way to help her. Finally, when Clover saw some cars near her, she came up with an amazing idea. She decided to block traffic. Clover ran into the middle of the street and stayed there until a driver finally got out of the car, only to realize that Clover's owner was ill. Haley was then rushed to the emergency room, and Clover became the hero of the day. Dogs are indeed some of the most loyal creatures out there, and I hope she got a good treat. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our next entry is... Elephant Memories. Now, I already knew that elephants have one good memory, hence the term, an elephant never forgets. But I didn't know exactly how good it was until I heard about our last story. After three elephants were the target of some poachers in Kenya, the animals ended up with poison-tipped arrows buried deep in their sides. But as soon as they realized they were in trouble, they remembered there was a place that they could go to. That in question is the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust Center. Somewhere in their bank of memories, they remembered the moment in which the people at this center had been helpful in the past. That's why the animals felt safe to come to the facilities, and sure enough, they got the help they needed from expert veterinarians and rescue workers. In the end, animals and humans can make a good team to help each other. And even though we don't speak animal languages, it's not so hard to understand these creatures once we learn how to love them and care for them as well. Which one of these stories was the most inspiring? Have you ever helped an animal in need? Let us know in the comments section down below. I could really use it to brighten my day. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.